Well, happy Tuesday, and first alert, meteorologist Austin Evans tracking a fairly mild day today, mild week ahead as well, uh, at least through Friday. Going into Saturday, things will change. Let's talk about it. 59 here in Shreveport, 60 in Bienville, Natchitoches, Florine, Carthage, 61 in Nacogdoches and Center. Uh, we started off pretty chilly this morning. I'm sure some of you saw some frost outside. Uh, talking about our next weather maker, showers and storms looking fairly likely on Saturday. The potential for some, fear, for some severe weather is on the table. I'm going to get into more details with this coming up on Castle News 12 at noon. Here are the rain chances, Saturday being our target, with some minor rain chances Friday and Sunday. Here is the temperature trend over the next seven days. Tomorrow is going to be quite a bit cooler. Backdoor cold front moving in, nothing major. It is just going to be a bit chilly. And then we work our way back up to above average uh, uh, going into Thursday, uh, Friday, and Saturday. And then uh, the cold front works its magic on Sunday. Here's a live look at our top shore of the McLeod Ford Sky Camera in Bowie County, Texas. The skies are open. The blue skies are out. And you can see that here on my first alert Doppler radar as well. Taking a look at future track, going through the rest of the day, we're not going to really see anything happen. Uh, your Wednesday, on top of it being slightly cooler, uh, is going to be slightly cloudier here and there. And then Thursday, increasing cloud cover, just a little bit more, but still not quite overcast. Highs today near 70. That is the possibility for a lot of you, though uh, also a lot of you might not quite make it there. Mid to upper 60s. For those folks, here's that tomorrow morning planner starting off chilly once again uh, in the uh, low 40s, upper 30s, warming up into the mid 50s by that noon hour. Tomorrow will be cooler with highs in the low 60s. And then we are tracking the potential for some showers and thunderstorms on Saturday, the potential for severe weather being present as well, which I'll have details on coming up at noon. If you missed that, I'll be back later on this afternoon for KSLA News 12 Now at 4 with Priscilla Borrego. Have a great rest of your day.